So this drill is going to be training your squat in a positional sense, trying to train some internal rotation of your hips, get your hamstrings controlling your pelvis, get your abs on, all sorts of fun torture and stuff like that. You're going to need a couple things, a foam roller or a yoga block or some you know, paper towel, some sort of implement to put between your legs that are about that size. Um, and you're going to need something to hold in a goblet position. So whether that's a kettlebell, a dumbbell, a plate, I have a five kilo plate here. It's about 11 pounds. Excuse me. Um, anything ranging from like five to 25 pounds would probably be appropriate depending on how strong you are here. You're going to start off by taking that foam roller or whatever implement is you have, and you're going to place it between your legs, but you're going to have it right above your knees. Okay. You want your feet directly under your hips and you want your toes pointed completely forward. I don't want any deviation in toe angle when it comes to this exercise. You're going to be actively squeezing that foam roller this entire time. Then you're going to take that weight, whatever it is you're using for the goblet, and you're going to hold it at your chest, and you're going to go through a mental checklist. The first thing you're going to do is take a nice long exhale through your mouth like you're fogging up a window. When you do this, your rib cage should drop straight down and maybe you'll feel your abs kick on a little bit. From here, I want you to think about taking your elbows and trying to bring them to the front of the room. And when you do this, you'll notice your shoulders kind of protract forward and your upper back kind of rounds out a little bit, which is perfect. So, you know, exhale, reach those elbows forward. Next thing you're going to do is think about tucking your hips under yourself while maintaining, the, you know, the, those abs and that elbows forward position. Holding this here, you're going to keep your weight in your whole foot and you're going to drop straight down, making sure you don't lose any of those positions. Once you find you're about as deep as you can comfortably maintain while holding these positions and not feeling relaxed, you're going to hold and you're going to breathe, which is going to be silent inhales and then long exhales like you're fogging up that window. And again, elbows forward, abs engaged, thinking about tucking my hips under myself, squeezing this foam roller. Right now I'm feeling my adductors, I'm feeling my hamstrings, and I'm feeling my abs kick on.